Hello guys, this is Only Abi Doang and welcome to my first Animal Crossing video. So today we're gonna be talking about... Okay, I'm just kidding. The last video was an obvious April Fool's video, but seems that some of you were still falling for it, even if I already stated it at the end. So of course, I'm still doing Sims videos as usual, don't worry. Anyway, hello guys, this is Only Abi Doang and today I'm going to be showcasing a mod that lets you ride actual functional horses in the game. This mod is made by Necrodox, who have also created many amazing mods before. This is gonna be a short mod showcase since it's a rather small yet still impressive mod. Before taking a look at the mod, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to install it first. First, you need to make sure that you've turned on mods and script mods in the settings of the game. Then you also need to make sure that your game is updated to the latest version. After that, go to the link I've put in the description, scroll down until you find the download link, and after downloading the file, move it into Documents, Electronic Arts, The Sims 4, and then the Mods folder if you're on Windows. Now with that already covered, let's take a look on this mod, shall we? So to own a horse, you need to buy it first. It's located on the transportation category on buy mode and will be named Forasi the Horse. It might look glitchy when you're buying it at first, but after you place it down, it'll appear correctly. You might notice that after placing it, the horse will lean a bit because it's coded from a bicycle. Even though it's from bikes, the modder stated that this mod is still compatible with those who don't have Discover University pack. But I swear, it's more than just a reskinned bike. There are additional interactions that you can do with it. First of all, you're able to pet the horse. If done, your sim will start petting the horse's head, which will increase their fun need a bit. The horse will also move and start neighing when you pet them. Besides that, you can also feed the horse with hay with the cost of one simoleon. This isn't really a necessary thing to do though. Also, there's a chance that after feeding your horse, they'll leave a pile of poo. You can only throw them away since they're practically useless. Now for the best part, riding the horse. To do that, just click on the horse to start riding them or choose the ride around option if you want them to ride the horse around the neighborhood. Once you start riding the horse, you might notice both the rider and the horse stutter throughout the animation. The motor might fix this bug in the future, but other than that, it is fully functional and working. There is an actual animation of the horse galloping, and you can even hear the galloping sound effect of the horse instead of bicycle sound effects. I admit that this is really impressive even if it's based on bicycles, and Necrodox have done a great job at it. Also, I just want to point out that riding a horse seems to be slower than riding bicycles. Keep in mind that since the horse is mostly coded from bicycles, after riding it, your sim might put them in their inventory which is just a bit silly. And yes, as I said before, this mod is still a bit glitchy in terms of the stuttering horse riding animation. You can at least take a good screenshot of your sim riding a horse for a storytelling purpose. So there you have it, a somewhat functional and rideable horse mod in The Sims 4. As always, link to download is in the description. Thank you so much guys for watching this mod showcase, I hope you liked this video and if you do like them and want more, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. See you later!